everybody welcome to a new video on the channel so today's supplies for the video might look a little bit weird and you know well my last video was also about the Rubik's cube and uh, this is a miniature version uh, it doesn't really work that well I, uh, it's really hard to move the size as you can see so I went online I went on other YouTube videos and I found a tutorial that told me how to supposedly make it run smoother <laughs> and you know I really hope it's helpful I can barely even move this thing oof I moved it once I'm a boss so, uh, what they used is they broke off one of the middle pieces, then they rubbed in some petroleum jelly, aka Vaseline, and, uh, supposedly it made it run smoother. But instead of Vaseline, I'm gonna use this thing, and I'm gonna hope it works. It is very similar, because we don't have Vaseline. We're just gonna hope that works. So, the materials he used was, obviously, the Rubik's Cube. And if that works on this one, I'm going to apply it to my normal, I use everyday Rubik's Cube. So he needed this. He used a Q-tip to rub in the petroleum jelly. He used a flat-headed screwdriver to pop it out. And then, of course, the petroleum jelly. But, hey, it substituted for vapor rub or however you call that thing. So first off. Let me see, you put this one, ugh, you're gonna put this one like that, and then you're gonna pop this one out, somehow. I'm gonna try that out. So, I haven't popped the cube out, but I did get the screwdriver in there. What I did is I kind of, like, popped out this piece. Well, not completely pop it out and remove it, but I kind of, like, pushed it up, if that makes any sense. So, and then I just wiggled the screwdriver into the middle one, and now I'm supposed to do something, and then pop this one out. Instead of breaking the Rubik's Cube, I broke my screwdriver. And, uh, the reason it didn't work with this one is because the pieces are hollow. Here's the body of my screwdriver, and... And I broke it. Ta-da. The pieces are hollow, which means just these have, like, an actual base. But the middle ones are, like, empty in the inside. I'm going to keep on trying popping it out, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to break the piece or my screwdriver instead. I already pretty much broke it. You can see in there that it's hollow. I'm going to try popping out one of the corner pieces instead, actually. Let's try that. Is it gonna work? Man, I don't know anymore. I... Uh, I tried popping out one of the pieces and it ends up like I'm popping the whole face out. But this is very hard. The dude did it so smoothly and he was like a... What, uh, like a... Seven-year-old? I probably shouldn't be following seven-year-old tutorials, but he looked really trusted. He had a lot of subscribers, so I just... I didn't even use this one anyway. I'm just going to keep on trying popping that out. I'm going to try like, 20 more minutes. If I fail, I failed. Ah! Yeah. I can't pop that thing out. I don't know how he did it. I can't pop that thing out. But, I'm going to say that it actually popped out. And, uh, we're going to try to get some, something in there. You know, I'm, I'm going to try. Okay, so, I'm pretty sure that the Q-tip can't enter in there. So, I'm going to put in some, some of that thing into the screwdriver and try to somehow put it in there. So, here we go. So I'm just going to grab a little bit with the screwdriver. Okay, I think that's enough. 
how about you? You think that's enough? And then he like, oh, feels like I'm doing operation or something. He just like, ripped it in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna try, guys. Hey, guess what happened? You, if you... I am pretty mad right now. It didn't really work that well. I mean, I can do it with one finger now, which I'm very proud of. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of that. Oh my gosh! It's actually working! It's going a lot smoother than when it started. I didn't pop the cube out. Ah. Uh, I tried putting the Q-tip in there and the, it just like came out with a lot of black dust. So this is the face where it has the thing. This is the... Oh, Jesus. So this one I can easily turn it, which is where I have applied it thus far. And then this other one, it just... I'm really doing the effort. Woo! I turned it once. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead and do the same method with the rest of the faces and I'm going to see if it actually works. And uh yeah. Yeah. I can notice how much like more smoother this thing got. Like I can turn it now. I can turn it now and it doesn't feel like I'm ripping my fingers off. So I just moved about, oh no. Oh no, did I forget to apply some on this face? I don't know. But most of the cube is turnable, except this one apparently. So it does seem to work. I think I might have forgotten to put some on this one. But I mean, I can turn it now. I'm pretty happy about that. I can turn it now. And, uh, it's not that hard anymore. The bad thing is that it seems as if I just put it on the outside instead of on the inside. So now the cube, it's probably falling off my hand because it's slippery rather than because I can't not turn the faces. I mean, I can turn it now and I'm very grateful. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm just pretty much mad at how this turned out. I just realized I was speaking that very weird voice, but it works, but I don't know. I tried putting... You know, like, real Vaseline on that other cube you guys saw on the how to do a checkered pattern with the cube. And, uh, it kind of worked, but I had the same situation as with this one. And that one was, like, really petroleum jelly. You know, it was, like, the legit stuff. It's still kind of hard to turn in some faces, but it probably just had to get a little spread out. And, uh... Yeah. Next video, I'm going to try doing it with my real cube that I just bought because I lost the other one. Yeah. I'm going to go search up some more tutorials and I'm going to see if that makes a difference. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't try that with your cube. It's going to make it worse. Trust me, it's going to make it worse. And I'm pretty angry at this already. Just don't, don't, don't do it. No, just don't do it. And uh, if you like the video, please comment down below if you have tried this and get the same result as me, or if I just did something wrong, or if it actually works, if you can actually like pop the cube out. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. And uh, leave it a thumbs up. Bye. I don't know if I should try it with the actual cube.